morning traders welcome to the weekly update i'm juan maldonado and it's a pleasure to share with you some of our wave camps and some of our trading plans for this week i believe elliot wave is the most um accurate and helpful tool in the technical analysis world but sometimes the beginner is not applying the tool in the right way and of course that creates a huge problem so here on Elliott wafer street we cover on a daily basis uh, different techniques as you are going to see today uh, to to understand the markets and and to apply in what we consider the right way on the Elliott wave theory so you can in in an easy and fast way understand how to follow the markets and how to uh, become successful uh, in, in this trading business. One of the things that is important is to understand that technical analysis is not a, tra a time traveling machine. Some analysts, some traders, when they are starting, they believe that actually the power of technical analysis is being able to, to forecast, to travel in time. And that's not true. That is that that it doesn't doesn't exist, you know. So far, I don't know any way of time traveling. So why adding some tools in a chart will do that for us? You know, it's of course crazy. So traders, technical analysis is actually to read the actual picture, to read the actual picture of what supply and demand, institutional cycles. That's it. So let's start. Here we have an institutional cycle last week where the price rejected the area. So here we have stops, we have orders, we have limits, we have a lot of things going on, market orders. Right? And, and the price, when, when the price hits the area, what is the reaction? It returns, it closes above the previous low. So question, what is happening here? It's a turning point. Easy, right? If, if if the liquidity wasn't there, what would be the the actual price here? Well, some big candles. So imagine being here and forecasting if here is going to turn around or not. There is no way, right? You have to wait, see it in front of you, act, take it, manage the risk, execute fast, book profits, manage your trade. That's the process, not forecast, right? So of course we're going to do here a live trade exercise in a second. Also, I have a special exercise in the dollar gen that you are going to love it in terms of price action. But the point traders is that we need, we need to read present. So the next trade that we're looking for now in the live market is buying the, the euro after a three wave sequence here that we call it in a little wave ABC. If we have an ABC here, it doesn't matter how deep it is. Once we see it and the rejection, similar to this setup, we go long. Here we leave the protective stop loss. This is the stop loss distance. Once we reach a one to one, we book partial profits. What if the price comes here to this liquidity area and instead of rejecting, the price absorbs everything and continue higher? Is, is that possible? Of course. So if we are long from here, we hold it. If we are long from there and the price comes here and rejects, we close the trade and we go short because it will be validating another wave. You see, so step by step with focusing on the key turning points of the price is where we can act and where we can make a good money. Let's have a look at the dollar gen. Imagine this. Imagine the price moving down. Okay, and someone buying, buying, buying at the lows because he's seeing divergence on an indicator, whatever, right? Look, the price, the, the, the retrace is here, the next retrace is here, the next retrace is here. So after each retrace, the price makes a low. After each retrace, the price makes a low. So let's suppose that here the price makes another retrace. What do you expect? Another low. The price moves down, fails to make the low and moves up. Oh, this is a change of behavior. 
When this happens, we can have two options. One is that the price will make an ABC where we can buy, or two, that the price is going to move down and it's going to reject and we can buy it here. But we have on the left this beautiful pattern that is called the change of behavior. Let's see it in action. Retrace, 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 retrace. After this one, lower low, lower low, lower low, right? Look, price making lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, lower low. Okay, so after this one, what we expect according to that sequence? A lower low. Uh-oh. It didn't make the lower low, it rejected. It crossed the previous, the previous retrace. We are seeing a change of behavior. Change of behavior is when the price starts doing something different. It is not, we are not telling here it's a reversal. It could continue lower, right? But it's a change of behavior. So now this is the bracket area that we are working with. If that change of behavior is for a bullish setup, here we need to have the ABC, the proper rejection, and from here we can go long and we can capture the leg up. But we need to have the rejection here. Second scenario, price breaks down without rejection, moves down, takes out this liquidity. Okay, the next candle, let's say, rejects and the rejection happens here. That's the buy trade. Right. And the third scenario is that the price collapses and never looks back and falls a thousand points, let's say. That can happen. Right? But on that one, we didn't trigger the trade. So we are triggering here or here at the rejection. So as you can see, the yellow wave theory is not the one that is telling what to do. It's just giving a framework. And with price action, supply and demand, and the institutional cycle that we are studying at the current moment is where we are going to make the decision if we see demand at higher prices in this case. It's a process, traders. It's a process that you can learn very easily by repetition. This video, you can repeat it several times. And don't, don't, don't forget to, to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get a lot of uh, insights and videos, right? So it's important, traders, to understand price action and to understand that technical analysis is a picture of the, of the, of the present and that things can be adjusted. No problem for, for, for that. We are not time traveling. Doesn't have any sense, right? Imagine, imagine offering Elliott Wave as a time traveling machine. Would be weird, right? Don't, don't you think? All right, this is the S&P. On the S&P, last week, we did a fantastic work. If you have been watching our videos, we were looking for a leg down. Uh, we, are, we are working with a technique uh, that I create called the Elliott Wave blocks, based on the order blocks. And we were looking for this area. The price moves down, so we, we knew that, the, that this needs to be to, did, needed to be tested. Price falls. Here we have a beautiful rejection. I think, I was, I was thinking, that this, this, was, this was it, and we were going to, to start seeing the price up. Nope, the price makes one more lo lo low down, lower low, rejects, and this one is a beautiful setup. Now let's talk about the present. After these three, four, five sequence on the ABC, that could be the last point of entry for a bullish move if it validates everything here. So we are in that validation process this week. We have the inflation coming up this week. But if we are long from this area, it's our, it's our case, um, it's good to book some profits, probably tight stop loss, whatever. And make sure there is a, already a safe trade. And if everything gets confirmed here, we can add to the position. Uh, according to the analysis of the present picture, this effort that is happening on the daily chart is to the upside, is to, is to push the price, is to break the, the, the area to the upside. Pro probably the 500, the 400. I'm forecasting, I'm traveling, time traveling here. Nope. I'm reading the present picture. I'm, everything comes after an effort. Effort versus result. 
and this is the effort traders. So understanding the effort give us an edge of the result. So it's not time traveling, it's reading the supply and demand of the present and creating a scenario with low risk, as is this case, and a great potential to make some good money here. All right, traders, so it's a pleasure to start the, the week with our wave counts. If you want to learn more about our project, elliotwavestreet.com, you will find here the memberships. Well, I recommend where you can start there to, to get the daily analysis Monday to Friday. And we have the Forex, the Stocks, or the Full Access membership. Here you will find all the details. Also, we have for international clients a special offer that you can sign up uh, with the with the broker with this broker and get a free a full access membership so here are the details and if you have questions on top there is our whatsapp and our uh, support email and there we can answer any questions thank you very much for watching this analysis as always it's a pleasure to start the week with some of our wave counts so if you want to learn more about price action more about Elliott Wave, don't forget to first of all sign up for on, for free on the on the YouTube uh, channel and also uh, uh, take the trial on, on the membership and you're gonna love it. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.